Hello everybody, it's Nerdboy Weeps here. I am back with a new reaction. Uh, we're about to react to something that actually recently came out. Like, I meant, I should have reacted to it yesterday, but I forgot to. But I'm going to do it now. Uh, I was thinking if I was going to go through with this, but I'm, you, know, you know what, I'm going to try to get it done now. React to it, uh, and I'm not going to waste too much time. Uh, we are reacting to Halo CG featuring C5, I mean CG5, Far Away. Uh, anime music video. She did mention that she was make, having, gonna have an anime music video that's going to uh, be for her album. So, what, I saw, I think, a, cl a clip of it on TikTok earlier today. So I was like, I might react to this if I get a chance. So, like, yeah, let's go. And we're still doing the doll and thing. So Is this gonna be like a whole oh she's like this song is supposed to represent oh she's kinda of like uh sorry, I'm looking at my phone real quick. Okay. <laughs> is this like saying she's her old self is far away? And even though there's a glimpse of it, it's like almost practically gone. Because you saw the difference in the eyes and the reflection. For some reason, one reflection made me think of Makima from Chainsaw Man. And she kind of looks like Makima in this. I, okay, so it's going to be a fight between, because uh, you see, again, the eyes changing, like, conflicting. I wonder if anyone has ever actually drawn a character with kind of like a half-half type eye situation. Because I might need to try that if I get a chance. Because that looks fun. The animation is really, really nice. Hey, her eyes are well the same. This was the scene I saw on TikTok. This is a very euphoric look to this, and I'm here for it. Uh, this feels like a low-key kind of like Steven Universe and OKKO vibes when you think about it. But also kind of looks like those cartoon ads, uh, those like PSA type ads that they've had like with Garnet and whatnot. Um, and I'm actually really enjoying this. Like, I'm, I mean, I think the reason I'm not really saying too much about the song is because it's I guess I'm just going for a ride right now. But I honestly think it's what I I'm theorizing what it said. Like she's going into a, a place unknown, but she's like it's kind of like a conflict of should she stay where she's at or where should she just keep going forward? So yeah. And I think the whole thing with the eye thing maybe is like there's two parts of her conflict with each other and C5 giving her that bracelet, I guess, keeps it uh under control. Hey. Why did that seem remind me of Jaden animation for some reason? <laughs> ah. Okay, this is some Hayao Miyazaki type uh, dry out of, uh, grass thing. <laughs> Oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh I can hear them blending. Oh, that was really nice. And also, and this even looks like the ending credits from Steven Universe. Like, you know, uh, Love Like You, because there was that one scene I saw in the background when scene five uh, anime itself. It looked like um, the island where Steven lives. Uh, uh, like, I wonder if they're if going to animate this. I wonder if they like Steven Universe. Because this is some this is some very Steven Universe aesthetic type stuff. So, like, I'm saying it as a Steven Universe fan. And yeah, it reminds me of Love Like You, uh, the ending song. I love like you. Love like you. And the same vibe, it kind of gives the same vibe as that, uh, in terms of the, like, the aesthetic. The aesthetic gives a lot of the mood of that. But, like, I... If I had to interpret something with that thing, I think it's C5's character in this was trying to prevent uh, Hal going to wherever she needed to go. Like, because again, you saw the eyes conflicting, and then she, uh, when he yeah, had all the the uh, bracelet broke, and it looked like C5 was turned into the. Uh, I don't know if I can say. Let me see if I can. Let me look at the lyrics because. Even though I was enjoying that, I can't really, I couldn't really, uh, I think, hear the lyrics too much. Uh, let me see if there's, uh, nope. Ah, I should have. Uh, da, da, da. oh, Shido Beats was on this? Oh, sweet. Nice. Uh, I'm just interpreting, like, honestly, I'm, that's, I'm interpreting how I visually see it. It's basically again, like I think also that maybe maybe the song also correlates to her musical journey, that she can't go back to where she was originally at when she started in the nerdcore community, like, and also I'm glad that she's going forward because she is one of the most talented females in nerdcore period, like, and the fact that she's making this quality of content, and she again, Russ has even told her that you were doing a lot of what I'm doing now at a younger age than I was. Like, that's what he... I was looking at a post uh, from her, and Rustich actually was saying something along the lines of this, and I was like... And I... Every time I listen to Hala, it really does show, because, again, like, she is a force to be reckoned with, much like Chi Chi and Sailor Your Love, all of them. And the thing is, like... You can almost say Hala may be literally... Like in her own league at this point, much like Chi Chi is, because her and Chi Chi, I think, like in terms of like how well, actually, did, but Sailor, I think, is coming up right next to them in terms of like the people who were known for their singing more than the rapping type in the nerdcore community. Because these, because Chi Chi, Sailor Your Love, and Hal all are very well known for their singing. While they are also known for rapping, they're also very well known for singing, like, strongly. Like, and the honorable mentions in that case would be Night of Breath and Nina Hope. And, um, all right, I'm trying to figure out if there's another, okay, nope. Uh, Night of Breath and, uh, Fudgy Duck, I think I forgot what I just said. Night of Breath and Nina Hope, they're, uh, in the honorable mentions because, they're literally getting up there, but Sailor is, like, getting close to where, like, Hala is, in my personal opinion. But Hala and Chi-Chi, I'm surprised they haven't just made a song together, just them. Because we, I know they collab together with, uh, I forgot her name, last name, but first name, Laura, on the um, Azula Main Tai Lee song. But in terms of, it would be a very interesting thing of what they would do 
if it was just them. Because that's two talented women, like, labbing together. So, I don't know. But I enjoyed this. And, again, it was a very vibey track. And, I mean, I've been... Flavor Charlotte gave us a vibe trap yesterday, ah, yesterday with uh, ro like an romance anime, and so I'm here for the ride. So I hope uh, this album does go do well, and Hala keep doing you and keep excelling because I've said what I said so many times, and I don't need to really say it again because as long as you just do what you need to do, everything should fall into place, and that's my belief because honestly I enjoy your music a lot so I really just hope you succeed. Alright guys if you like this video please subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.